limited or compromised at all this week, who are the immediate guys that you look at to take over that role? We'll figure it out. Obviously, we'll get our best guys on the field um, and go from there. Uh, you know, the guys we like to get on the field the most. I mean, right now, we get Drake out there, we get Almond out there, Pitt, obviously, when he's out, he's out there. So, um, if you're three wide, you probably stick with that. And then from there, you, you kind of fill out the rest depending on what position you need. How far along do you feel like Kyle Ford is right now? Kyle's done a good thing. You know, he's, he's gotten out there on special teams, and so uh, it's been good for him. And, and we, that, uh, that whole freshman class really, uh, you know, I'm thinking offensively, you, you got Keaton, you got uh, Keenan, the running back, and then that whole receiver group that uh, we have. That's a, that's a really special group of guys, really competitive group, um, do things really well. And uh, so I'm excited about all those guys. You know, I've seen Maneer before he got hurt. Was, was I think if he was healthy, um, you know, I don't know if he would have as much, he would have seen as much time as Drake's seeing right now because, uh, you know, Drake just plays a different position and he's behind different guys. But uh, I think you, you could have seen like production that you've seen out of Drake just because that's the kind of time that Maneer has. And like you said, you got Kyle and Brew who's not even around. So that's uh, that's just good. I mean, that's, that's a really special class that we're looking forward to, uh, to, to having and working with. And, and, you know, I think that's a class you can build around. So, so Kyle, you know, he's coming off that injury. Um, so he was a little further behind offensively just from knowing things and, and getting reps on things. Uh, but like I said, he's gotten out there on special teams and, and he's doing good things. And every day he improves because he's one day further along in the system. And so um, Kyle's going to be a really good player for us as well. And like I said, that, that entire class, when I think of offensive skill-wise, that's a class you can build around and, and uh, win a lot of games with. You talked about getting the ball to Keenan in space. He's now, looks like he's kind of creating his own space a little bit. Yeah, you know, that's, that's like I said, when, when you get him out there, uh, whether he's throwing in the ball or, or whatever it is, you know, there's just not many people that can run like him, you know, so uh, he does a lot of great things. And so, uh, you know, the one, uh, the kind of the scramble play where we hit him, when if you get him out there, like I said, with that kind of grass away from, from well, there's only a couple bodies left. Uh, defensively, you're in trouble because there's not a lot of people that are going to be wrong with that guy. And then uh, to see him break the tackle, like you know, the guy went for the strip, but to stay up and, and run hard like that, that was that was really encouraging to see. Because again, coming in and seeing his high school highlights, you see him run away from everyone, so there's no question about his speed. Uh, you know, I think probably if you're watching Keenan as a younger kid or as a high school kid, you say, well, you know, can he break tackles? Can he get the tough yards? And so to see him break tackles like that, and like I said. Um, early in the year, he was doing that in inside period and stuff. And so we, we started to see the glimpses of that. And now that he's having to play so much more, you see a lot more of that full time. Um, that's encouraging to see, especially from a guy his age. Is there any consideration from your perspective, like the thought of, of redshirting him anyway? Or is that just kind of, that ship's kind of sailed just given what he's done on the field and what he's shown? Uh, you know, I think that's more of a decision for Coach Helton, to be honest with you. but. Um, we got to get our best guys on the field, and because of depth issues, you know, if we didn't have a bunch of injuries, I think that he's definitely a kid that we would have found a way to redshirt and just get more games out of. But uh, with the injuries, that's just tough to do. And with the, with the depth issues we have there, um, that's tough to do. And then with the production he's had when he's been in the game, again, you know, you know again, it's a tough guy to take off the field. And so, uh, you know, we got to do what's best for the, for the athletes and for the kids, I think, uh, most importantly. Um, but at the same time, one of the best players, then you need to be on the football field and touches too. So, uh, you know, that's discussions that I think that we have as a staff, and, and ultimately Coach Coach Helton and the player get together and meet on that and make that decision. Um, but he's just been very productive, and so uh, we've been fortunate to have him, obviously. And, and uh, again, depending on depth issues and stuff like that, we're going to have to keep getting him on the field. If you get Vi and Steven Carr back, does that kind of open up the playbook for you, like to do some different things? It'd be nice to have those guys. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to do what we do with it. But like I said, when, when you got running back, when you have a little more depth at all positions, it allows you to do a little bit more. Um, particularly at that position in the run game, it really opens it up. You know, and I think that Almond Raw did a great job the other night. We only gave him two or three carries, but um, just to give us a couple carries um, was huge. And, and uh, that's the thing about this team. It's, it's a great team and, and a lot of special guys and just great people. And uh, so, you know, Almond is not a running back, but when you put him back there, he looks pretty natural and does a lot of good things with it. So just to get 
um, just to get Keenan some water and, and a break. You, you're able to get that guy in there and get him three carries, and he's able to go get you some yards. And so uh, that helps. Uh, but obviously, if you, if you got those other two guys, um, I think it definitely helps the run game. And uh, I don't know if like play-wise or, or schematically, if you're going to do anything differently. Um, but you're probably going to run the ball a little bit more just because you you got guys, you got more guys that can take carries, and, and uh, that kind of spreads the hit, hits around. You know, I don't. Keen is not a guy that you want to get hit 40 times or something. But if, if you got healthy backs and you run the ball well, uh, you can keep kind of pounding because you can rotate those guys in there. So. Um, depth obviously helps with that position, and if we could have those two guys back, um, it just makes the offense that much better because you have two, two new weapons. What are your thoughts on the secondary you're facing this week? Uh, they do a great job, and, and I think as a defense as a whole, the most the most impressive thing about them is they just always are on the same page and the way they're supposed to be, and that's why I think they do a great job defensively or why they're successful defensively. Uh, it's because all 11 guys play together well, and, and uh, you know, a lot of times it, with defenses, you can get something big just because someone's out of place, and, and that's you don't ever see that with these guys. Uh, you know, they kind of move as one piece, and that's what makes them good. And you know, like I said, they're very sound. They do a good job. And the, the secondary, um, from what I understand, obviously it's my first year here, but they've played a lot of football and had a lot of reps. And so that just like any team and any any system, the more reps you get, the more experience you get, the better you're going to be. Because one, it just builds confidence, and two, you've seen a lot more things, and, and you're able to. Uh, kind of grow from that and like I said it just becomes natural when you see something you react to it and uh, and so because of the amount of football play they've played and, and especially together they do a good job but like I said I think the most impressive thing is just how as an entire unit they, they, they move at one you know they, they they're always where they're supposed to be do their job and uh, so allows them to be successful. What, what do you notice about Wilcox that he's done well versus the air raid? Um, Probably just like I said, just has his guys where they're supposed to be, and then um, again, if, if you're just if you just everyone knows where they're supposed to be defensively, it does a lot for you because everyone you know you got the zones, the, the the holes are a lot tighter if everyone drops into the right zone. Where if one guy kind of gets a little bit out of place, a zone gets really open and you can hit it, you know. And so, um, like I said, he just he's just done a great job of getting those guys to be where they're supposed to be and know exactly where they're supposed to be and work as one unit. And again, it, really on any side of the ball, but particularly defense, if 11 guys are all where they're supposed to be. Uh, that means all the gaps are probably going to be taken care of. All the zones are probably going to be taken care of. You're going to play man coverage with the right leverage. You're going to do things right um, and put yourself in the best position to be successful. That doesn't mean you're not going to give up plays at times and stuff like that because um, in, in all systems, both sides of the ball, uh, it's not always going to be perfect. But but if everyone's where they're supposed to be and doing their job, it gives you the best chance to be successful. And I think that's what they do really well.